Right, now joining me are three people from Warwick Anti-Racism Society. Uh, do you want to kind of explain uh, what's happening next week? Because it's to do with, obviously, the events uh, of enslavement within Libya. Larissa, firstly, do you want to kind of explain uh, what's going on on the Monday? Yeah, I think lots of people have seen the absolutely shocking things that are happening in Libya uh, with African migrants being enslaved. Uh, and considering kind of the historical context of this, it's something we really need to show that we're not going to be silent. We're not going to back away from this conversation. And so uh, on Monday, we'll be having a banner making session uh, in the SU on at 5 p.m., making sure that people can come along, uh, build support, make banners and then come out strong on Tuesday for a uh, protest at 3 p.m. in the piazza. Most of us, it's something that a lot of people within Warwick Anti-Racism Society will know about. I think a lot of students, maybe it hasn't, uh, the media maybe hasn't covered it um, definitely as well as it should have. Um, is one of you okay to kind of give a brief account of, of what the events um, that have happened in Libya are? Okay, so recently we've seen that um, although it wasn't on media coverage, it's been happening for a very long time. What's happened is because of the migrant crisis we're having at the moment, so many people have been immigrating over trying to reach Europe and Libya has just kind of been an in-between ground where a lot of people have ended up and we have a lot of West Africans, um, a lot of, from so many different countries ending up in Libya. Apparently at the moment they have like around one million people kind of trapped in this place where there's like no rule of law, Gaddafi's not there, so it's a very interesting situation where these people are now very vulnerable and susceptible to things like human smugglers and slavery and rape being beaten, tortured, treated it's like absolutely disgusting and gruesome um, images we're seeing from what's going on in these camps. And it's now just made the perfect harvesting ground for people to be treated like cattle, people to be traded all different places. Um, it's been just a very it's just a really sad time because we're seeing things that we saw so long ago seem to poke themselves their head back up and above the surface um so yeah that's what's going on okay and do you want to just say a few words about the demonstration that's happening on tuesday kind of your thoughts about it yeah for sure we just think it's really important um on university campuses for people to be aware and students to recognize that you know there is a world out there where discrimination where oppression is vile even within our campus but more so outside of our campus so people need to come out and show solidarity donate to the specific charities that we're donating to so that's African Lives Matter A21 and is at the International Organisation for, Mig for Mig Migration Centre so yeah that's that's what we want to do so I think it's really important that everyone comes out and shows that they care about mm. this like it's an important topic so we should all come together and stand together and fight against it and if people can't uh, come along to the, the banner making session on Monday they are able just to come along on, on Tuesday what kind of time is it Where is it on the yeah, piazza yeah everyone should feel free to come along to the demonstration on Monday because uh, we're hoping to make it as inclusive and as accessible as possible. Um, we hope that people will come, whether they have banners or not, we just hope mm -hmm. they'll come to show their solidarity and show that we can have a voice on this and we can mm -hmm. try and make a difference. And what time is it happening? It's 3pm. 3pm. Piazza. 3pm yeah. on Tuesday. And we also have the panel discussion on Thursday. Yeah, and do you want to say a few words about that? Uh, yeah. Kind of the speakers you've got coming in? and Yeah, so basically we've got some people from A21 coming in, hopefully we're still to be fully confirmed on that. Um, and A21 is an absolutely amazing charity that does a lot of work for human trafficking throughout the world. Um, they're being able to get to so many different places where maybe uh, officials won't be able to get and they're doing so much work. Um, we've also got African Lives Matter speaker um, called Kofi coming and hopefully he'll be able to just shine a lot of light on the situation and what's going on and the uh, degradation of so many African bodies and how they're being um, subject to such extreme terrible conditions so yeah and are there any kind of confirmed details for the event have we got a time yet or is this yeah so that, yep. that panel discussion will be 5 30 uh in ramfal after three four one uh and that will be yeah 5 30 on thursday Fantastic. Well, thank you uh, all for joining me. Best of luck with the demonstration on Tuesday, the panel thank event on Thursday. I hope to see you there too. I hope to see I'll, I'll definitely come along if I'm free. I'll check my timetable, but also as well, yeah, no, best of luck with it. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks. you.